And lastly this week, the London Guardian reports that experts will announce this month the world has failed to meet the target set by international leaders to reduce the rate of biodiversity loss by this year. Instead, a coalition of 40 conservation organizations claims there have been alarming biodiversity declines and that pressures on the natural world from development, overuse and pollution have risen since the ambition was set in the 2002 Convention on Biological Diversity. A growing number of studies have shown that it is almost impossible to calculate the value of the ecosystem services from the natural world, from food, rich soil and fuel for local people, to clean air and water and plants used for the international pharmaceutical industry. Professor Joseph Alcamo, chief scientist of the United Nations Environment Program, said, quote, Since 1970, we have reduced animal populations by 30% the area of mangroves and seagrasses by 20 percent, and the coverage of living corals by 40 percent. These losses are clearly unsustainable, since biodiversity makes a key contribution to human well-being and sustainable development. The paper's lead author, Stuart Butchert, said, quote, Our analysis shows that governments have failed to deliver on the commitments they made in 2002. Biodiversity is still being lost as fast as ever, and we have made little headway in reducing the pressures on species, habitats, and ecosystems.